Hello fellow pawns, I'm Droopy Pawn, this is Droopy Pawn Minecraft 2022, and we are down in the ocean cave. So you remember earlier I was um, working on well, the sugar cane area, and there was a water hole there, and I was filling in the water hole, and I, I found a little cave. I thought I'd go fill in the rest of that dirt in that water hole so that I can make a an actual sugar cane farm, an automatic one. And then I thought, why don't I go collect a few items from the cave? Because, you know, there was a water cave there. And then... I was swimming around in said water cave. Oh goodness. And I fell down into a regular cave. And things just, they just keep finding more and more caves. And what do we have here? Oh Lord. Well that's ocean, straight up to the ocean. I'm not sure where these squids spawn, but I seem to be finding a lot of them. And I know you can use their ink sacks to light up. This is lit. I've been here before. I know you can use their ink sacks to light up signs and um, item frames. I'm so fast in my new boots. So I, I thought I had found a new place, but maybe it's not as new as I thought it was. But I'm already here, I guess we'll get some ink sacks. And I'll go back to getting ores. With my silk touch pick. So that was the plan, I was gonna run around in the water cave and pick up ores. But then I came across this regular non-water cave and I got a text message build a nether netherite beacon Juan has just sent me a message about build a netherite beacon thanks for watching Juan I guess he's out doing stuff in his truck he watches my videos while he's working <laughs> Doesn't sound like you're working much, sir. Sounds like you're watching more videos than working. But, I mean, it's a, a pump truck or something like that, so he's got some downtime in between trips. Or while he's doing trips. I think I'm going to get all the copper this round. Heard an Enderman. Enderman. Um, where can I hide? I don't have to hide. I am super droopy pawn. He did. He got dead. Torches on the right going in. Torches on the floor when I'm not sure where to put a torch. Oh, oh, what do we have up here now? Stuff everywhere. Well, um, I already got the blue lapis that was at the beginning of the cave. Juan, you're famous now. You got, you got your text message ring. Right in the middle of an episode. Let's go this way a little. Hello, Mr. Spider. So is this where the Endermans go when, when they're not in caves anymore? Or not above ground, they go down in the cave? Um, whack you very much. Package, package for Droopy Pond. 
Oh, a creeper. Been thinking about doing a hardcore streaming series. Actually, I was, but I was doing it on super flat. I might get rid of that. But I've seen so many people in their world because creepers. Creepers are bad. Nobody likes a creeper. <clears throat> I got called a creeper once. You're like, why are you creeping? <clears throat> Hairball. So let's see, did anything else happen last time? Um, well, I showed you all the new stuff that was done on during Thanksgiving. I mostly played with TB Tree on Thanksgiving. Did I get over there and do anything? I don't think so. Oh, my ankles. Well, TB Tree and I played Minecraft on a brand new world with seed TB Tree, and it was actually a pretty good seed. In fact, I was using, I was using, let's see. See if I can find it. Um, I was using this seed right here. And I put in TB tree and it actually converts that to a number. But we spawn right there and there's this just giant river biome right here. So we were getting plenty of drowns. In fact, had a drown with a trident the very first night. He almost got me. I found now more iron. <coughs> oh, I'm so fast. My water boots. I got water boots. I'm fast. I can fly through the water with the greatest of ease. <coughs> I've been here. I got air bubbles. In fact, this is, this is, I think, where I found the cave. Yep. I fell down in here and, and suddenly I was in a cave. All right, well, let's start heading back up and see if we can do anything in the regular world up above ground where I'm not in the water. Didn't I find a way out a minute ago? <coughs> it this way? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe down here? <laughs> I'm going down. Oh, there's out. I found out. So I got all that kelp last time and I cooked it up. Oh lord, I'm super fast. Oh my gosh. Dolphin grace. Holy cow. Woo! Super for Droopy Pond. And I think I have some pumpkin seeds up here somewhere. Pumpkin seeds. Well, I got pumpkins. Uh, not pumpkins. Watermelons. I got my. There's some seeds. So today, put away this dirt. That goes down here. I got the four lapis ore blocks and I got copper ore blocks. I got a pearl. So much stuff. Monster drops over here. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, I guess I can put those in here. Alright. Well, let's go over to the farming area. And I'll show you the new thing I did. Actually, I recall now that I have some bones. I've been collecting bones in here. In the monster drop area. So I'll just grab a stack. I don't know how many I'm going to need. But I'm going to show you the new thing I did. Which is a pumpkin farm. 
Are you disappointed? <laughs> That's where I went down. I filled in this water hole. There was a water hole here. Filled it in. And uh, let's go grab a hoe. I was using, I was using that one. I don't want to use my good hoe and tear it up just for planting pumpkins and stuff. Well, let's go, uh, let's see, pumpkin, blank space, melon, and over here. Oh, I'm going to have to plant these fast. I'm going to turn all of those into seeds. Some of these are probably going to get trampled on by monsters. That's fine. Plant all these seeds, turn them into pumpkins. And I guess I need to make a... not pumpkins, um, melons. Anyway, I guess I need to make a silk touch axe so I can get the melons without turning them into slices. That's a pretty good melon farm. And I think there were pumpkins up here. Yep, I never did get those. So let's get these pumpkins, turn them into seeds, and plant them. Also, I was looking online on Twitch, and somebody was playing Skyblock. And I asked them how to figure out how many days I've survived in this world. And they called me rude. <laughs> so I didn't think I was being rude, but you know, forget you. Who was it? Let's pull them up here. Twitch. It was. It was this one. Sin City Live. Well, forget you, Sin City Live. You were being rude. I was just asking how to do a thing. Never did tell me either. Accused me of being rude. And said, well, maybe, maybe if we had any manners. I asked, show me. I said please and thank you. I was being rude, I guess. Whatever. Alright, let's put the bone meal on these pumpkins. And I put torches on the end so that they'll grow in a row. And we're going to make a full-on pumpkin farm here. That'll give me something else to trade to the farmer guy when it's trading time. Got a pumpkin. Bone meal on the pumpkin stalks. I'll do the same thing on the melons if I have enough. I don't know if I brought enough with me. That's a long pumpkin farm. This might be the longest pumpkin farm I've ever made. I seem to have run out of bone meal. I don't think I'm going to have enough to do all of this. But these other ones, they've already been growing for a little while, so maybe. Alright, I'll put the rest of them on the melons. Melon. And, hey, I already grew. Oh, torch is there. And now that it's stopped raining, the dirt is beginning to dry out. I bet I could run some water down through here somewhere, though, somewhere close, and keep it all hydrated. Maybe I can put some water on this side. So one, two, three, yeah, that should work. And then I can have another double cactus, not cactus, um, sugar cane. Some more sugar canes over there. Although, once I get the automatic sugar cane farm going, I won't have to come out here and harvest these anymore. 
I have built an automatic melon and pumpkin farm before, but honestly, it's not something I usually do. Maybe this time if I keep playing on this world. So anyway, about which day I was playing on, I knew it was in the F3 section somewhere, and I, I asked the rude lady where it is, and she wouldn't say, but... <clears throat> No, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's in the second section. And I've lost it again. I knew where it was. Now I don't know where it was. Local difficulty. Down towards the bottom on the left side, about four or five lines up. It says local difficulty. And I'm on day 204. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh line up from the bottom on the left. Day 204. So I have survived 204 days and haven't died yet. At least not that I can recall. If I did die and you saw it, leave me a comment. But I don't think I did. All right, pumpkins, melons, they're growing. Hank is chasing after an uh, enderman up there in a boat. <clears throat> and let's go check out the drown farm. <clears throat> Hairball. Hi, the heifer. Hi, the baby. Mr. Pepper. What y'all doing? Uh, we're going to check on the John farm. Ooh, how's it doing? It's pretty sucky, actually, if you go up on top. I think I'm going to have to build a platform kind of in the middle and maybe go out south. I think the... What do you mean? Is there too far away from the sun? They definitely spawn in here, but when I go upstairs and sit in the AFK glass house, mm -hmm. so you need to be I, down I think they despawn. Oh, hey there. So you probably need to go away. I think they despawn before I get uh, before they get to the bottom. <laughs> I knocked him out of the water tower. Let's see, where's the ladders? There they are. So what was going on was I come up here and I jump up on top. Don't. Oh, I said I jump up on top and then I go up here to the glass house, which is another 36 blocks up. Yeah, you're too far away. But then I'm... Um, I'm... Um, at level like 190 ish let's see 196 up here I so it only be 25 blocks away so water level is 63 and then i'm up a little bit higher than that off the ground so anything more than 128 blocks away they despawn instantly i think And she just left me in the middle of a conversation. Root. So root. Security. Security. She she went. Going down. I bet there's another guy in here. Yep, right there. Get another guy down there. And another guy down there. You guys. Let's go on down. You think they'll follow me? Hey dudes.
Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do not want a creeper. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> Could have been bad. I hope I didn't get a creeper into the nether. I don't guess it'll matter though, he won't be able to see me. I shot me a boat. Skeletons juking me. So there was a drown that I knocked out of the water. Out of the water tower. He doesn't appear to be here anymore. He despawned. I think that's what's happening. The drowns are despawning before they get down to the portal and so they're never making it to the nether but I think I'm up too high and I'm going to have to make a different area to hide in hey, don't do that so I know that the zombie converted to a drown but not a proper trident and this is a trident farm. So that's not ideal. Oh my god, up here. Anybody in here now? Don't have to worry about light levels at night. I don't see anybody. Alright, so what if... What if I go over here, just kind of hang out for a minute? Well, now I'm probably not near enough the top blocks, so they won't spawn up there. But I might get some towards the bottom. Let's go back in and see if there's any drowned guys in here at all. I'm swimming fast with my water swimming boots. I don't see anybody. Okay, so maybe I need to be up here. But maybe a chicken? <laughs> I got a chicken. Maybe I need to make my house uh, up here, but not quite 36 blocks tall. So 36 doesn't make any sense, because I know they won't spawn unless you're 24 blocks away. So why did I have to go up 36 blocks? You know, I did what Avomance said, went up 36 blocks, but I think, I think that's too high. Now if I come back in here, I bet there's a monster in here somewhere. Or not. I don't know. Well, I know I sent a few over, so let's go over to the nether and see who's in there. Fishing rod from one of them, but no trident. Well, I'm not sure how to feel about that. So, so far, my trident farm is not a very good trident farm. 
I'm going to take this rotten flesh and copper home. And I'll leave those. And I guess I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. But I, I'm not going to stand here and do this. So I'm going to call it an episode here. And I'll decide what to do on the next version. And I'll see you then. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of all this. Or don't. Go pump oil and gas. Do whatever you want. See you next time. Drippy Pawn out.